time and finish in the top two to automatically advance. On the outside, lane seven and eight, Randolph Ross, champion Allison. Oh, Randolph Ross goes out really, really well, and he's got the great pacer right there in front of the champion Allison. These two guys are the two to look for at the finish in this race. You can see the separation there from the rest of the pack from these two outstanding runners. And Allison, the anchor on that Florida collegiate record in the 4 by 400 earlier this year. And Ross, looking just as smooth as can be, realizes, hey, we're, we're one and two. It doesn't really matter the way it goes after that. Allison continuing to lead in lane eight. Randolph Ross right there in lane seven. Allison will win the semifinal heat. Ross Ooh. second. And in third, distantly, Javon Powell of UTEP, 44-29, looking like he's just walking down the street. Champion Allison. A lifetime best by nearly a half of a second in this semifinal. Randolph Wright Ross, an easy 44-43. Well, Dwight, the only thing you hope is that champion Allison didn't leave it all on the track in the semifinal because this could be a repeat of the final. But you see as they come here to the last 100, everybody who's ever run a 400 knows how it feels when you get to that point. And these two guys just powered through better than the rest of the, of the field. Now right here, I'm wondering if Randolph Ross is trying to decide to himself, should I push it and try to win this race or save it for the final? We'll see what he has when it comes around in a couple days. Well, and then you were looking at a guy there in the Florida uniform. He is just in a groove. He's in a rhythm. He could slow down. He could slow down and take the last 50 meters a little bit easy. But when you're in a groove like that, why not stay in it? He stayed in it, ran all the way to the line and got a personal best, a big personal best. And he showed the number one 400 meter run in the world. It's like, I'm not going to be easy to beat in the finals, brother. Hey, you're going to have to beat me on the track. And nobody cares about the numbers that you brought. You got to do it on that day. Lifetime best in the semifinal, number six time in the world this year. Champion Allison winning the heat over Randolph Ross and champion Allison downstairs with John. Uh, Dwight, actually, we've been moved about here because of uh, the next heat, but we are over here. And actually, I grabbed Randolph Ross since, uh, well, it looked easy enough. I know it's, there's a difference between it being easy and looking easy. How'd it feel to you? Um, it was a smooth race, you know. We just want to focus on staying up on the back stretch and getting ready to go into the second turn. But it's also not good to leave it all in the prelim. So it was a good time. You know, I got another 4 by 4 to run, so... You got to be ready on Friday. I watched in Birmingham after the last lap of the 4x4, four four, and you were a man that looked cooked. How hard has it been to get back in shape after that long indoor season and be ready for this meet? It's uh, most definitely been a different training regimen and, of course, supplements and protein and eating and everything. But at the same time, I came back for a reason. So at this point, you got to do what you got to do to win. Hey, your dad got a new job. What do you think of that? Yeah, we... Technically, I've got a year and a half left. So we're going we gonna to play it by ear, day by day, you know. We are running fast enough to leave, so we'll see what happens at the end of this year. Very good. We'll see you on Friday. Yes, sir. Very good. Randolph Ross, right? Uh, All right, Dwight. John, that was a bonus interview with uh, the great Randolph Ross. I wonder if we might be seeing him in a